Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I. B. DeGangi reporting for The Media Speaks. It is 2 a.m. 8-5-2013, and here comes your massive Fukushima update. Um, before I get into it, um, if, I don't know how many of you had a chance to see Passing Time, the band that I'm with. Uh, we did the War on For Your Mind song for the Alex Jones Infowars contest. Well, we played uh, the Busbin Music Shop, and it was earth-shattering. I want to thank everyone that came out to that show. It was one of the best shows that we've done, and we've been around since the Dark Ages. It was great. A uh, special shout-out to Steve and Busbin Mike. Friends, if you missed that show, you missed a really, really good show. And unfortunately, the stream didn't go so well audio-wise due to uh, sound issues with the computer mics and whatnot. So if you missed it, you missed it. All right, guys, here we go on to the news. And this would love to take forever to be called up, of course. All right. For those of you just tuning in, the Fukushima disaster is a nuclear, uh, well, a triple, possible quadruple nuclear meltdown that happened on March the 11th, 2011. And it has been continuing to spew radioactive material into the air. Now, before you go ahead and turn this off and decide that it's going to be the most boring thing that you've ever sat through, just listen. There are a lot of people that follow these updates because there's not a lot of people doing them, and they need to be done. They are finding our death rates in the United States are going up as a result of this. Now, in many of my other videos prior, I've went ahead and knocked out all the science involved in this. So if you want to know, go ahead. Uh, otherwise, just listen to this. I'll give you the short version. When I say radioactive elements, radioactive isotopes, those are things that have been proven to make you sick your whole life. Notice I didn't say you're going to keel over dead right away. You're going to be sick and you're going to be miserable most of your life. I'm also going to let this PBS special just play behind me. It is from a look around the ruins at Fukushima. It is PBS. I am not stealing any content. That is where you can find it. And uh, they will show you various images of, uh, of what's happened to a once great city. And at the end, it's funny. Well, not funny, but it says, uh, Nuclear energy, our bright future. That is the sign that you used to be seeing over Fukushima because it was considered this great area. Wait until you see these pictures, friends. Just wait. You'll see what nuclear energy did for them. You'll see what GE did, General Electric, and they did this. They caused this. Um, and this is abcnews.net.au. Fukushima operators admit radioactive water is leaking into the Pacific. Now, forever they've been saying that that has not been the case, or that it has been minimal. And we're going to get into just how minimal it actually was in a minute. But they've been saying for a very, very long time now that there was nothing to, nothing to see here, just move on. Well, look at this. The operator of Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear plant has admitted for the first time that radioactive groundwater has leaked into the Pacific Ocean. Um, do you still eat seafood? Do you eat salmon? Do you eat shrimp? You know what? If it's not Atlantic, you're bringing these isotopes and elements into your body. And don't just blow it off. Don't. Look, humans are one of the only species that are slowly but surely losing their survival instinct. Not so much in the physical realm as the mental. When you hear information like I'm giving it to you, don't just say that it doesn't matter and sit down to a tuna sandwich. Listen. Use the thinking part of your brain. The operator of Japan's I'm sorry, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, that is GE, has been battling for months to stop groundwater leaking into the complex and becoming contaminated. Now the company has admitted that radioactive water from the site has leaked into the sea, although a spokesman insists that the impact on ocean life will be limited. Well, that's nice, because I guarantee a lot of people maybe uh, that were in the safe zone went swimming because t they believe TEPCO. TEPCO wouldn't lie to them, would they? They're part of their community. It's safe to swim there. Maybe if they'd have admitted this, maybe at least the people foolish enough or the trapped there, either one, that are still living there, and there are a lot of people that are simply too foolish to listen to intelligence who do not use the thinking part of their brain, but for whatever reason, maybe they wouldn't have gone into the water 
if TEPCO had been honest. This is how you kill people for a bottom line. Are you hearing me here? Earlier this month, TEPCO revealed that groundwater samples taken at the Fukushima plant showed that levels of radioactive cesium had increased by more than 100 times in just a few days. The company acknowledged that it had no explanation for the soaring figures. How about the fact that it's very likely you have a quadruple, a minimum triple meltdown? How about that all of your radioactive fuel is leaking into the earth and into the groundwater? And then, of course, that groundwater is cycled all over the northern hemisphere. This is why it matters what's going on in Japan when you're in America. Because this is what happens. This is what's coming. And it's still spewing. So how long until we have to be in certain our cities like that? Maybe in Hawaii or the West Coast. The head of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority believes contamination of the sea has been continuing since the explosions at Fukushima following the 2011 tsunami. So what you've got here in a nutshell is that we have been utterly lied to. That's what we have. And it's going to affect it because our government, Obama, his administration, they're doing nothing to test the food that's coming in from Japan. Japan is saying that their food is safe. And then you're reading it. You're feeding it to your kids. Did your kids have popcorn shrimp recently? You know, a little pre-processed uh, poison that came from Fukushima GE who brought good things to your child's life? Um, the Fukushima Diary. 70 dead sea turtles are cast ashore in Chigasaki, Kanagawa, environment group. Unusually many, and we don't know why. You see, this is the kind of thing... Well, we don't know why this is happening. We do know that turtles wash up on land all the time. But why more are washing up now in this condition? Well, we just don't know. Because they don't want to look at the elephant in the room, which is Fukushima. It's causing it, and guys, we're the highest up the food chain, usually. So, there you go. It's, it's coming for us. If we, and it's going to continue coming for us, but we can lessen this by making TEPCO do what the Soviet Union did when they had their issue. Uh, Chernobyl, for those of you that haven't, uh, when you're done watching this, look that up. According to Kanagawa Coastal Environmental Foundation, unusual number of dead sea turtles are cast ashore in Chagasaki, Kanagawa. By the morning of 7-4-2013, it continues, 70 dead bodies of sea turtles were found, which is unusually many. The rate of a loghead turtle, it says, is very high. They assume that the dead turtles are the ones to come alongside the pier. Of course, you know, radiation accumulates into the lower life forms first. The beach is where the sea turtles come to lay eggs. In radioactive waters, as the last story just said, the dead bodies have been reduced almost to a skeleton. It's been quite some time since they died. The reason is not verified. I think the reason is pretty verified for anyone that is using the thinking parts of their brain. Um, this is NBC, um, NBC Los Angeles, Southern California. Plague infected squirrel found near campgrounds in Los Angeles National Forest. Now the plague is not caused by nuclear fallout. I'm not saying it is. But one of the things that caused the plague to grow and to become what it was was a very low immune system among the poor, among other things. Um, the fact that we are finding plague in squirrels in Los Angeles, yeah, it does happen from time to time. I'm not going to be an over-alarmist on this. <coughs> Pardon me. But what I will say of great importance is that Helen Collicott, um, Lauren Moway, Artie Gunderson, Chris Busby, myself, Miss Milky the Clown. We've been warning that Los Angeles, you can't live on the west coast of the United States after what Fukushima did. And here it comes. And I guarantee almost all of my California listeners aren't really going to listen to me here. They're going to act like this story doesn't exist. Oh, the plague happens all the time. Once in a while, squirrels get it. And Sam, it couldn't possibly because, because the squirrels are eating everything that's accumulating all the radiation that's being spewed over from the meltdown in Japan. No, that's impossible, Sam. It's just a normal, everyday case of the plague. A squirrel infested with plague bacteria prompted, that is Black Death for you top 40 fans, 
prompted the closure of popular campgrounds in the Los Angeles National Forest on Wednesday, according to L.A. County health officials. Officials with the county and the U.S. Forest Service closed the Broken Blade, at Twisted Arrow, and Pina Loops areas in the Table Mountain campgrounds near Whitewood, a small mountain town, it says, northwest of Los Angeles. A single ground squirrel trapped July 16th was found Tuesday and tested positive for um, plague. It goes on to say that, you know, it's, it's not unusual to find them, but at the same time, when you research how many are actually found, it's really not that common. I would like anybody in those areas that I just named to please uh, go ahead and look for yourselves. Do anybody have a, a Geiger counter out there? Um, carefully, uh, check the area. I, I would love to know what, uh, it, what kinds of uh, internal lesions or whatever the squirrel had. I wonder if any radioactive tests were even done on it. Am I saying they're connected? No, I'm asking people who are uh, out there and able to do so to give that a look and see if there is, in fact, a connection there. Um, again, I want to look, or look around the ruins. I had that up, but you know, I've already showed you clearly where, where that is. So the last thing I'm going to get to, and you do want to go look at that. Again, I'm not plagiarizing it. It's called A Look Around the Ruins of Fukushima Where Radiation Still Poses Danger. PBS.org, you will find it. Um, last thing I'm going to get to then is uh, e, e News, WSJ, oh, yep, I love when that happens, pop-ups galore, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you don't have a pop-up stopper, it's that as soon as you start to read, hello, comes to see you. Um, extreme contamination found in trench at Fukushima plant, cesium over 2 billion becquerels per liter, millions of times above the limit. Now, I, I do this whenever I cover radiolog radiological issues, and I'm going to do so again here. Um, a becquerel is a nuclear reaction. In layman's terms, it is a tiny microscopic explosion, if you will, that goes off inside of your body. And it does so at one of, one of, the, rate, one of the ways they rate it doing so, doing so. It is called a becquerel. One becquerel is one reaction per second. Each reaction does heart damage, brain damage kidney damage and leads to a future cancer. But you're not going to wake up tomorrow and have cancer from this. You're going to wake up tomorrow and have a bad cold that won't go away. It'll finally go away. But your immune system's down. Maybe you'll be diagnosed with minor heart issues and be put on some pharmaceutical drug because it's hereditary, of course. And then uh, maybe you'll be st develop stomach issues. Well, you know, you just got a sensitive uh, stomach. It happens. Uh, even though you've eaten hot food your whole life, suddenly you can't eat anything anymore. Um, it's these things happening inside your body. It's been happening since the bomb testing in World War II uh, and prior, obviously. It's been happening with these nuclear power plants. Do you know there are things called routine releases where they just release a little bit of radioactivity into the air and they accumulate and they measure them in becquerels. Two billion becquerels per liter. How many is one billion? If you, st I don't care how young you are, if you started counting one, two, three, four, five, every waking moment for the rest of your life, stopping only to eat, drink, and sleep, you would never reach one billion. That's mathematical fact. I mean, if you really count it. Extremely high concentrations of radiation have been detected in water from near one of the reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. TEPCO, again, that's GE. If you're in a mutual fund and you invest in GE, you're investing in these kinds of things. Abandon this company's stock. The radiation is millions of times higher than Japan's acceptable limit under normal circumstances, and they've already proven that those limits were too high to start with. The only reason they were okay to be that high was so they could open the trap. So they just called it safe. It was never really safe. Radiation of 750 million becquerels a liter of cesium-134 and 1.6 billion becquerels a liter of cesium-137 was recorded. Those two cesiums are radioactive elements that live for a very long time and do devastating things to the body before, they finally, uh, before it finally kills you. It devastates the body. You cannot be drinking much milk right now. Do not do dairy right now because cesium adheres to dairy more than any other, like apples, or it 
dairy is what it likes to uh, leech on to. And I'm telling you this because I'm trying to save people's lives here. In April 2011, a combined 1.8 billion becquerels was recorded. The sample came from a trench near the number two reactor combine building, the utility said. So it's just spewing God only knows how much radiation. TEPCO is searching for the water source. It is probably from one of the damaged reactor cores, it says. It is trying to stop the leaking water into the sea. And then it says here, I, I like this description, a liter of water was also found to contain 750 million becquerels of radioactive substances that emit beta rays such as strontium. Strontium goes into the bones and creates uh, bone cancers and blood cancers. It's one of the most deadly elements known to man. It's one of the things that will devastate you in a nuclear war. 5,000 cubic meters or 5,000 tons of this water was in the trench. It says, note, 5,000 cubic meters of water is equal to 5 million liters. One liter was found to contain 2.35 billion becquerels of cesium. So what can you do? Well, you can take uh, a lot of vitamin C. Uh, I wouldn't suggest under 3,000 milligrams. Um, cinnamon, echinacea, calcium. Uh, calcium is vital. Uh, look up Chris Busby calcium because the calcium will prevent the body from absorbing other things that mimic calcium but in fact are a poison. This will prevent that from happening. Upping your vitamin D. Take vitamin D every day. Um, a fish oil helps your heart. You could take it. All these are extremely cheap. I'm not talking about anything uh, pricey here. Uh, look up uh, emergency or the generic versions are just as good. Um, if you can, get all natural vitamin C. I personally don't. Bentonite clay helps. Avoiding milk, unless absolutely necessary, will be of great importance. Eat nothing from the West Coast or Hawaii. Nothing, nothing, nothing from the West Coast or Hawaii. Do not live on the West Coast or Hawaii and avoid the West of Alaska. That is what GE has brought to life. If you live in those areas, move. You are listening to The Correct Views, my friends. Good night. God bless. Thanks for listening. I'm very sorry to be bringing such awful news, but I'm one of the only people that are really pointing out how important this is, and I think it's some of the most important work I've ever done. So thank you for watching. Please donate to the show if you can. <coughs> make sure you go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, look up the work of Kyle Court, Lake, and myself, and make sure you donate to the Charity Connection. Dana Mobley Christ, who has done a lot to raise uh, raise awareness and to uh, when my father was sick, she was trying to raise money to save him, but he passed too soon. She helps people who are sick every day of her life. She's a charity, and now she herself is sick. She has lung cancer, and we need to go to the charity connection and help her beat it. Good night, friends. God bless.